hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified of when i drop the next episode on joda akbar feel free to tell us what you want on the comment section and stay tuned Haider comes to salima he says many of our soldiers are injured in the war field even salim Salima says we will send some deses from here to help them. Haida says sorry to say this but it's difficult for us to win the war. Meza's force is stronger and if he wins he will attack our palace. And Jalau is not here to save anyone. So I, I suggest you leave from here to a safe place. Salima says I can't believe you are the son of Adam who never lost a war. I am Jalau's wife. How can you say such a thing? Salima says to Haida that Salim, Jalau, Jode and Rukai are suffering and you want me to run away from here? Haida says I didn't mean that. Salima says I have a responsibility to look out for people. Inform me of what is happening in the Sultanate. Haida says you're a woman. Salima says don't forget that a woman gave birth to you. A woman is the Mariam Zamani. A woman fought war. Haida says, I am sorry, he leaves. Anakali with other ladies comes to Salima. Salima says, we need your help. Go to the war field and treat the sick soldiers there. Anakali agrees and goes. Jalau is on his way. He finds one kid drowning in the river. His mother pleads for help. Jalau ties rope to a tree and gives the other end of the rope to him. He pulls the kid out of the river and saves his life. The mother thanks him and says, you are a god to me. Jalau says, no, I am not God. I am just his man. I did a mistake earlier. He lives from there. The doctor is treating Judah. Judah is taking deep breath and sees a dream of Jalau walking on the barren land, all messed up. She starts feeling uneasy. Other side, Jalau is walking in the desert. Strong wind is blowing. Jalau is tired and hungry. He finds one priest making some poor people eat food. Priest stops Jalau and says, take rest and have food with us. Jalau says, no, I'm in a hurry. It's about the life of someone. I can't stay here. Priest says, okay. He gives him food and says, it will help you. Priest rolls his shawl around Jalau. Jalau thanks him and leaves. Jalau is walking and finds one kid hungry and saying to his mother that I want food. She says, I don't have food. Jalau first thinks that I can't stop to help them, but then remembers that Jodah said to rectify his mistakes. He comes to them. The kid's mother says to Jalau that we haven't even eaten for it four days. Jalau gives his food and shout to them. The woman prays for Jalau and says, I pray that all your problems get solved. Jalau thanks them and leaves. A soldier tells Hamida that we lost Jalau in the wind storm. He is alone now. Hamida prays for Jalau. To the mouth says nothing will happen to Jalau. He is strong. Fazal says I will send soldiers to go find Jalau. Jalau gets tired and falls on the ground. He craves for water. Someone gives him water to drink. Jalau looks up only to find the same spiritual kid giving him water. Jalau says you he says to the kid that Judah has less time. Then why are there so many problems coming in my way? So kid says that all answers are with you. You just need to help people. Just do good and let God help you. It's your testing time and you have to pass it. Reach out to people, help them and let God help you. Jalau says I did many mistakes but, but now I have to rectify my mistakes. He starts living, stops and turns to see spiritual kid gone. He continues his journey. Wow, Jalau is a changed man. Kutu brings Salim to the clinic. He says to Salim that you are very much injured. Salim says, I can't leave my soldiers alone in the war field. Kutub says, you don't listen to anyone. Onakali is dead too. Salim asks, what is Agra's death is doing here? Kutub says, Salima has sent them for our help. Kutub calls one girl to put medicine on Salim's wound. It turns out to be Anakali. Kutub is stunned and leaves from there. Anakali comes and bandages Salim's wound. Salim looks up to find her there. Salim thanks her. Anakali says, it's my work and I'm doing it. No need to thank me. She leaves. Jalau is walking and says, I have to stop the shifting of the grave at any cost. Other side, Shah says to soldiers to start shifting these graves. Soldiers start digging the graves. Jalau comes there and says, stop it. Shah is shocked to see him there. Jalau says to Shah that if you dig these graves, then I won't leave you alive. 
Charles says, if I say I will not listen to you, what will you do? One side, your son is losing to murder, and other side, I will kill you today. Jalal says, I won't leave you today. Shah asks the soldiers to attack Jalal. Jalal fights them. Other side, Joda is choking. She is breathing high. Rukaya says, what is happening to our Joda? God help her. Other side, Jalal beats soldiers. Some men come there to help Jalal. Jalal beats Shah and says, if I finish you here, then it will be insult for me. I will punish you in Agra. Jalal says, spiritual kid, see, I have saved these gifts. Other side, Jalal is choking. The doctor tries to make her drink syrup, but Joda loses her breath. All are shocked to see that Joda is not breathing. The doctor says sorry to Hamida that Joda is no more. Hamida is shocked and cries. Rukaya refuses to accept it. Jalal is looking at the sky. He says to God that I have saved these graves and now you have to save my Joda. Please save her. He cries, feeling something has happened to Judah. He says, I couldn't save you, Judah. I couldn't fulfill my promise. I couldn't succeed in rectifying my mistakes. He prays to God to give life to Judah. So talks. Jalal so says that I promised you, Judah, that I will be with you in life and after death. Judah so says that many years must have passed. Many lovers must have come to this life, but nobody loved it like us. Your love for me never changed. In history, whenever your name will come, my name will come too. Jalal is crying. One priest comes in and says, Don't worry, Jalal. Judah will be fine. He gives ashes to Jalal and says, Put on Judah's forehead. She will be fine. Hamida is crying. That's why did this happen with Judah? Jalal comes here. He asks, What happened to Judah? <gasps> oh, God. Why are you all crying? One Desi tells him that Judah is no more. Jalal is shocked. He starts crying. He recalls how Judah asked him if he remembers the seven promises which they took during the marriage. Jalal says, how can I forget? He says, I won't be able to fulfill one promise. It's worse that you will face death if it comes to me, but I won't allow you to go before me. Judah says it is respectful for wife to leave the world before husband. Jalal says it's my promise. I won't let you go before me. I want to see you in front of me till my death. Judah says, I trust you will fulfill all your promises. Flashback ends. Jalal is in shock. He goes to Judah's room. He shouts, Judah! He comes to her side and sees a lying straight on the bed. He says, see, I have come. I have stopped the shifting of the graves. Open your eyes and see me, he cries. Judah sees a dream of some spiritual soul taking her to heaven. Rukaya says to Jalal that Judah won't come back. Jalal shouts that she never breaks her promise. She will get up. He asks them not to cry. He prays to God to give me punishment, but don't let Judah be it. In the dream, Saul says to Judah that your husband is calling you. He has passed the test. Your husband's success is taking you back to the world. Your relation with him will not break like this. You fulfilled your duties and Jalal did his. Jalal is calling you now. It's time for you to return to him. So leaves. Jalal starts choking. Judah starts choking. Jalal says, I told you that she would not go leaving me. He says to God that I will not do this mistake again. Thanks for making Judah fine. Judah opens her eyes. All are happy. Judah looks at Jalal and smiles. Salim is heading back to war. Anakali comes there. She brings cream for his wounds. He says, I don't need it. I am going for war. My soldiers are dying. I can't stay here. If you want to do something for me, then pray for my soldiers. I don't know if I will return safely or not, but I want to ask you not to misunderstand me. I agree that I never liked you, but I never meant to hurt you. And my love for you was real. Anakali is shocked. He leaves. Anakali prays for the soldiers. Jalal enters Judah's room. He asks, how are you? She says, I am fine now. Jalal says, don't do this again with me. Judah says, I told you that I will never leave you. Jalal smiles. Judah asks, what about the fort? Jalal says, I will not make fort again. I have given land back to the villagers. Desi brings Kada for Judah. Jalal says, I will make her drink it. He makes her drink it. Judah says, I can't drink more. Hamida says, one more sip for me. Judah says, you too. She drinks it. Rukaya says, now drink the whole bottle. Remember how many Kadas you made me drink. Jalal makes her drink it. Rukia and Hamida leaves for Judah to rest. Jalal says, I will come too. 
She stops him and says, Do you think that I will haunt you as a ghost? Jalal says, I was worried that you irritate me whole life while alive. What will you do with me as a ghost? Joda says, You. Jalal says, Just joking. Joda smiles. Jalal asks her to rest. He leaves. Salim comes to the war field again and starts fighting. Man comes there with his first. He says, I will not leave any enemy alive. Meza says, You're not a loyal person. Man says, I was always loyal to Jalal and will always be. He fights with Meza. All Mughal men surround Meza. Salim says, There is no room left for you to run. Now you will see the power of the Mughals. See how many soldiers that you got killed that got killed because of you. Now surrender to me. Murad is about to kill him, but Salim stops him and says, We can't forget that he's our relative. Meza says, Why did you stop? Kill me like Jalal killed my mother, Mahachukchak. Bagran says, You are mistaken. Jalal is not like that. Salim says, You must have lost the war, but we will not forget humanity. We will not kill you. He asks soldiers to arrest him and make sure he doesn't have any problem in jail. Soldier takes him away. Shah is brought in court. Jalal says, I will make I will make him I will give him punishment in Agra. Shah asks him to have mercy. Jalal ignores him. He says to the ministers that from now on we will have open court section to help and understand the problems of common man. Jalal and Joda sit in the garden. She places her head on his shoulder. She says, you know what voice I like the most? He says, Tansin's voice. She says, no, I love your heart's voice. It gives me peace. Jalal smiles. She says, you saved me this time too. Jalal says, it was you who saved me. Jalal says to Joda that I thank you for making me realize my mistakes. Joda smiles and says, we should go back to Agra. Jalal says, get better, then we will leave. Hamida sees them together and thank God that they look great together. It's a blessing that seeing them together. Jalal is shown to be helping Joda eat. They make each other eat food. Bagwan asks Salim, what will you do to Meza? Salim says he is Jalal's brother. We will take him to Agra with respect and Jalal will decide his fate. One Desi says to Anakali that Salim is a very nice guy. He could have killed Meza but didn't do it. He has a soft heart. Anakali thinks why he changes every moment. They get a letter informing Salim that Joda is out of danger. Salim is happy and thanks everyone, including Desis, for helping during the war. He says we will leave for Accra. Tudamar tells Jalal that now situation is under control in the Sultanate. Jalal gets letter that Salim won the war. Jalal smiles. Tudamar says it seems like happiness is back in the Sultanate. Jalal says for sure. Okay guys, thank you for watching today's episode on Judah Akbar. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.